Hey everyone, this is Jess from Grand Puba Gaming with another episode of Let's Play Alliance for the Draenei. This series follows my Draenei Paladin, Galini, on the <laughs> PvP realm, Stormweaver. At the beginning of this video, Galini is level 3 and in Almond Vale, which is part of Azrima's Dial. We will start off by working on healing the lake, inoculation, and spare parts. We started these quests at the end of the last video. Start by going to the southeast part of the island. You can ignore the red owlkin, just use the inoculating crystal on the brown ones. Just right click on the spare parts to put them in your inventory. Now return to the crash site with your hearthstone or if that is down, simply run back. Arcanon Foros. From what you described, the neutralizing agent worked. I just wish that I knew how long it will last. We really need to remove the, that power crystal from the lake entirely. Thank you, Galini. I will tell Tendon to try the neutralizing agent on one of the captured beasts at once. Blessings upon your family. Go ahead and try the neutralizing agent on one of the mutated creatures. Looks like it's time to let you out of this cage. Now, to put the neutralizing agent on it. Success! When we have those spare parts, I know that we'll get this emitter repaired. With any luck, there will be someone else out there left to talk to. Let me take a look at those. Yes, I think these will do nicely. Good job, Galini. The emitter is rather complex, so it may take some time to finish the repairs. I'll let you know when it's ready. In the meantime, you might see if Vindicator Eldar has anything he could use you for. The more we can do to clear up Nestlewood, the faster Zana can get back to work. With many of the Owl Owlkin now inoculated, we can focus on getting out of here and not have to worry about wiping out the Owlkin population in the area. Here, choose from these. You've done good work and you deserve to be rewarded. Blessings upon your family. The Missing Scout. We now have several separate confirmations of unusual activity up on the Shadow Ridge. This is disturbing. We thought that the scouting message already undertaken had been thorough. One of my scouts hasn't reported back yet. Paladin, I need you to head southwest to the other side of Silverline Lake and find Tolan and see what has delayed him. Quest objectives. Find and speak with Tolan at Shadow Ridge and Almond Vale. Now just go down to the southwestern part of the area. Arcanon Poros. Help! Blood Elves! They ambushed me. Don't have long. The Blood Elves. You must eliminate the Blood Elf threat. Find out what they're up to. They're on the ridge behind me. Quest objectives. Kill ten Blood Elf scouts, then return to Tolan in the Shadow Ridge of Almond Vale. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Naru have not forgotten us. These Blood Elves mean to kill us all. How are we to divert them from this course? The Blood Elf Spy. I have a plan. We must kill their leader. Without their master, perhaps they will retreat to regroup. We just need to buy time until the repairs are completed. Then Vindicator Aldar mu must know of this. Kill the surveyor, then return and tell him what we found. Quest objectives. Slay Surveyor Candrus and then inform Vindicator Well, everyone, Aldar that wraps up this episode. Good if you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them in the section below. Until next time, this is Jess signing off. Blood Elf plans. These plans seem important. You should take them to Vindicator Eldar at the crash site. Quest objectives. Take the Blood Elf plans to Vindicator Eldar at the crash site in Almond Vale. I thank you for dealing with the Blood Elf Surveyor. Surely she was their leader. Rest assured we will deal with whatever remnant of them is still nearby. Please, take one of these weapons as a sign of my gratitude. May your days be long and your hardships few. What have you got there? Here, let me read those plans. The Blood Elves have followed us here. They are evil to the core and should be wiped from existence. The Vindicator takes a moment to regain his composure. I apologize. That was uncalled for. We are indebted to you for uncovering this information, Galini. Remember the lessons of the past. The Emitter. Galini, while you were out investigating the Shadow Ridge, Zana here has been going on about the holographic emitter. You might want to speak with her. Quest objectives. Speak with Technician Zana at the crash site in Almond Vale. Do not lose faith. The Naru have not forgotten us. I got it, I got it. I think I managed to fix the emitter. Here, I'll just activate this last crystal and that should do it. Take a, take a look at the emitter, Galini. It looks like it's beginning to work. Someone is appearing. Stay. Azure Watch. By all that is good, Galini, you must go at once to this Azure Watch and speak with uh, Daivun. There is a path that leads west off of this tiny isle. Follow it and cross the Crystal Book River to arrive on the larger part of the isle. Continue to follow the path and you should find Azure Watch. See if you can convince them to send us some aid and supplies. The rest of us will follow when we can. Thank you, we wouldn't have made it without you. Quest objectives. Speak with Technician Daivun at Azure Watch on the Azure Missile. Seek the path of the light. Okay, so the the image of uh, Technician Di uh, Daivun is saying some stuff here. It says, by the seven um, by the seven Adamal crystals, others have survived the crash. Zana, is that you? It is so good to see you again. And who do we have here? No doubt that made this communication possible. I give you greetings from Azure Watch. Judging by your signal, um, we put you on just southeast of the larger part of the island we crashed onto. Cross the Crystal Book River to get to the shh, shh, shh. Sorry, there's a lot of stat. Shh, shh. This is great news. Your efforts have indeed saved us, Galini. Well, everyone, that wraps up this episode. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them in the section below. Until next time, this is Jess signing off. <laughs>